Welcome to Stain Stanislaus Catholic Schools, Crowning of Mary, hosted by the 2020 8th grade class. Thank you for joining us. For this virtual crowning, you will need a flower, an image or statue of Mary, and an open heart. May is Mary's month. During May, throughout the Catholic world, special devotions honor the Virgin Mary. May crowning is a traditional Catholic ritual that occurs in the month of May, and it recognizes Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. We invite you to participate in this May crowning by praying, singing, and presenting a flower to an image or statue of Mary you have at home during the coronation. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Brothers and sisters, we gather virtually today to crown the image of the Mother of Jesus. As we acclaim Mary, the Mother of God, as our Queen and as the Mother of the Church, let us imitate her example and be attentive to the Word of God. As we honor Mary, who is higher than the cherubim and yet like us, let us pray that through her intercession we may achieve holiness of life and a deepened faith, hope, and love as we seek to do the will of God in all things. Father, as your Son was raised on the cross, his mother Mary stood by him, sharing his sufferings. May your church be united with Christ in his suffering and death, and so come to sharing in his rising to new life where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Revelation. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. Because she was with child, she wrote aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge dragon, flaming red, with seven heads and ten horns. On his head were seven diadems. His tail swept a third of the stars from the sky and hurtled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, ready to devour her child when it should be born. She gave birth to a son, a boy destined to shepherd all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where a special place had been prepared for her by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come the reign of our God, and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, My heart rejoices in the Lord my Savior. My heart rejoices in the Lord my Savior. As Hannah worshipped the Lord, she said, My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies, and I rejoice in my victory. My heart rejoices in the Lord my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the torrenting grit on string. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart rejoices in the Lord my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the nether world. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and he makes rich. He humbles and he also exalts. My heart rejoices in the Lord my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap he lifts the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart rejoices in the Lord my Savior. A reading from the Gospel of John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Jesus Christ. God chose Mary to be the mother of Jesus and prepared her to be his mother from her conception. Mary agreed to be the mother of Jesus and in her perfect obedience, her soul magnified the Lord. At his death on the cross, Jesus gave his mother to John and to all of us. She is the mother of God, the mother of the church, and our mother. Therefore, we honor Mary because of her faith and because of her instrumental role in our salvation. And we imitate her example as Jesus' first disciple. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and announced that by the power of the Holy Spirit, she would conceive in her womb the Son of God and name him Jesus. To this astounding news, Mary gave her fiat, or her yes, by saying, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. 
Her perfect obedience to God began the undoing of Eve's no to him and led to our salvation. Mary raised her son, Jesus, knowing that he was the son of God in a special way shared his joys and sorrows, as only a mother could. At the end of her life, Mary was assumed body and soul into heaven, where she is crowned queen of heaven. She intercedes for us and hears our prayers, taking them to her son, who sits at the right hand of God the Father, who will answer her requests. On the cross, Jesus gave his mother to John the Apostle to care for. In doing so, not only did Jesus show his great love towards his mother, but he also gave her to us. Mary is the mother of God, but also the mother of the church, and our mother too. Therefore, we honor her in such a way that no other human is honored. We pray for her intercession and for her motherly care over us. We honor her commitment to God. Mary was also the first disciple of Jesus and is our model of discipleship. Her humble obedience to God is the perfect example of what it means to follow him. There are many ways we honor Mary, from celebrating important moments of her life on the many Marian feast days throughout the liturgical year, to using sacramentals such as the rosary and scapulars, to praying prayers such as the Hail Mary and the Hail Holy Queen. All of these help prepare our souls to receive the grace of God, who Mary, in all she does, unceasingly magnifies. Let us pray. Lord, we bless you, for you are full of mercy and justice. You humble the proud and exalt the lowly. You gave us the highest example of your divine wisdom in the mystery of the Word made flesh and of his virgin mother. Your Son, humbled by death, most glorious at your right hand, the King of all creation. The Virgin, who acknowledged herself to be a servant, became the mother of our Redeemer and of those reborn in her Son. Now, raised above the angels, she prays for all, the Queen of mercy and grace. Bless us as we crown this image of the mother of your Son. We confess Christ to be the King of creation and call upon Mary, our Queen. May we walk in their likeness, spending ourselves for the sake of others. Content with our place in this life, may we one day hear your voice inviting us to take our place in heaven and receive the crown of victory. Tradition at St. Stanislaus Catholic School is for one boy and one girl from the 8th grade class to be chosen to crown the Blessed Mother Mary. All 8th grade students are asked to privately nominate students whom they think are worthy of the honor. We also ask the nominees to express in writing if they accept the nomination and explain why they would like to honor Mary in such a way. This year, the young lady and young man chosen for the honor of counting Mary are Grace Miller and Jorge.
have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God our Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Mother of Christ. Pray for us. Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother Most Pure. Pray for us. Mother Most Chaste. Pray for us. Mother of Violet. Pray for us. Mother Undefiled. Pray for us. Mother Most Amiable. Pray for us. Mother Most Admirable. Pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel. Pray for us. Mother of Our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of Our Savior. Pray for us. Mother of Mercy. Pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent. Pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable. Pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned. Pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful. Pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful. Pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of Justice. Pray for us. Seed of Wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of Our Joy. Pray for us. Spiritual Vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of Honor. Pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion. Pray for us. Mystical Rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of Ivory. Pray for us. House of Gold. Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us. Gate of Heaven. Pray for us. Morning Star. Pray for us. Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Refuge of Sinners. Pray for us. Comforter of the Afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of Angels. Pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of Prophets. Pray for us. Queen of Apostles. Pray for us. Queen of Martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of Confessors. Pray for us. Queen of Virgins. Pray for us. Queen of All Saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the Holy Rosary. Pray for us. Queen of Families. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of thee. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, in thine eyes and mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy own Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us. O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. God of mercy, listen to the prayers of your servants. You have honored your handmaid Mary as Mother and Queen. Grant that by your grace, we may serve you and our neighbor on earth and be welcomed into your eternal kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious Lord, with love and devotion, we have honored the Holy Mother of God. May she continue to intercede for us with Jesus Christ and her Son, now and forever. Amen. my name.